Hello students, happy to be able to reach to you all. In this short video lecture, I am going to discuss different forms of a first order partial differential equation. Now, this is the general first order partial differential equation fxy u ux uy is equal to 0 where u is the dependent variable and x and y are two independent variables. Although in general in a first order partial differential equation the number of independent variables can be 2 or more than 2 but we are considering the simplest case when the number of independent variables is 2 and we are, we are denoting those independent variables by x and y. So if you have a general first order partial differential equation of this type fxy u ux uy is equal to 0 where ux is the partial derivative of u with respect to x and uy is the partial derivative of u with respect to y then this equation the general equation is said to be a quasi linear equation if it is of the form of equation 1 where equation 1 is this type is of this type a u x plus b u y is equal to c where a b and c are functions of x y and u so whenever the equation the first order equation is of this form that is the form of the equation 1 uh, where u x and u y are separate they uh, they are not multiplied with each other the separate terms the degree of u x and u y is 1 and the coefficients of u x and u y which is which is uh, a and b and c are functions of x y and u then such a equation 1 is called a quasi linear equation now a few examples of a quasi linear equation now if you have a look at equation 1 then this is a quasi linear equation because it satisfies the criteria for a quasi linear equation the coefficients of u x and u y are functions of x y and u here you can see and the right hand side is a fun it can be a function of x y and u so it is satisfying the criteria for a quasi linear partial differential equation so it is a first order quasi linear partial differential equation the second equation is also a first order quasi linear partial differential equation the coefficients of u x and u y in particular can be constants also here they are the coefficients are constants which is allowed in a quasi linear partial differential equation equation 3 the third example this is not a quasi linear partial differential equation because in the right hand side uh, this a term is creating a problem u y square such a term is not allowed in a quasi linear partial differential equation the degree of u y must always be 1 it, it cannot be uh, anything more than 1 or like 2 or 3 or anything so this is not a quasi linear partial differential equation also this is not a quasi linear partial differential equation in the example 4 because u x and u y cannot be multiplied with each other so uh, these were a few examples now coming to the second type of uh, equation which is a semi linear partial differential equation now if your first order equation is of this type a u x plus b u y is equal to c then it is called a semi linear partial differential equation if uh, the coefficients of u x and u y which is a and b are functions of x and y only u is not allowed uh, in the coefficients of u x and u y also in the right hand side uh, the, fu the, the function c this can be any function of x, y and u. So here u is allowed but uh, as far as the coefficients of u, x and u, y are concerned they have to be functions of x and y only or they may be constants. So such an equation is called a semi linear partial differential equation. So if, if we take a look at a few examples then this particular e equation example in example 1 this is a semi linear partial differential equation because it is satisfying the criteria for semi linear partial differential equation the coefficients of u x and u y are functions of x and y only u is not there this again example 2 this is a this equation is a semi linear partial differential equation because it satisfies the criteria for a semi linear partial differential equation but as far as this equation is concerned in example 3 this is not a semi linear partial differential equation because the coefficient of ux uh, here is a function of u the coefficient of ux is a function of u and so the coefficient of ux uh, here this is a function of u and this is not allowed in a semi linear partial differential equation in a semi linear partial differential equation the coefficients of u x and u y can be functions of x and y only u cannot be present in the coefficients now coming to the third type of uh, first order equation which is the linear partial differential equation now a first order a general first order partial differential equation uh, which is of this type f x y u u x u y is equal to 0 is said to be a linear partial differential equation if it is of this form 
that is the form of equation 3 that is uh, the terms of ux uy and u are separate and the coefficients of ux uy and u can be functions of x and y only and the degree of ux uy and u must be 1 and the right hand side must also be a function of x and y and generally this is the most uh, general first order uh, this is the most general form of a linear equation of first order and generally here the functions a b c d are assumed put to be continuously dif differentiable functions unless stated otherwise and also if uh, dxy the right hand side if this is uh, in particular if this is 0 then equation 3 is called a homogeneous linear partial differential equation otherwise if it is non zero if d is non zero then this equation 3 is called a non homogeneous linear partial differential equation and now coming to the last uh, type of uh, equation a first order a linear part a first order partial differential equation which fails to be linear is called a non-linear partial differential equation so uh, the various examples now in this regard although many examples i have taken uh, by now but still to conclude the whole lecture just see a few examples now this particular equation if you take a look at this equation then this is a homogeneous linear partial differential equation because it is satisfying the criteria for a linear partial differential equation uh, the uh, coefficients of uh, the terms of ux uy and u are separate and the coefficients of ux uy and u are functions of x and y only also the right hand side is zero so this becomes a homogeneous linear partial differential equation also it is a semi linear partial differential equation and a quasi linear partial differential equation because a linear partial differential equation is always semi linear and it is always a quasi linear partial differential equation now uh, the second uh, uh, in the second example you can see this is a non homogeneous linear partial differential equation because the right hand side is non zero and otherwise it is satisfying all the criteria for a linear partial differential equation in the third example here in the third example the number of independent variables is 3 generally we have been taking the number of independent variables as 2 which is x and y but here we are taking the number of independent variables as 3 x y and z are 3 independent variables so a first order linear partial differential equation will have uh, derivatives like ux uy and uz and uh, if it has to be linear then the coefficients of ux uy and uz must be functions of x y and z only so this is satisfying the criteria for a linear partial differential equation and also the right hand side is non zero so it becomes a non homogeneous linear partial differential equation for example this is a non linear equation because this first term in this first term uh, the coefficient of ux is a function of u which is not allowed in a linear equation so this is a non-linear equation it is also uh, not semi-linear because in a semi-linear equation the coefficient of ux must be function of x and y only so again because of this term it fails to be uh, semi-linear equation but this equation is very much a quasi-linear partial differential equation just because it satisfies the criteria for a quasi-linear partial differential equation in a quasi-linear partial differential equation the coefficients of ux x and uy can be any functions of x y and u and uh, as far as the fifth example is concerned again this is a non linear partial differential equation because this third term is creating a problem u square is not allowed the uh, degree of u must always be 1 in a linear partial differential equation but this is a semi linear partial differential equation because the coefficients of ux and uy are functions of x and y only and also a semi linear equation is always quasi linear so this is a quasi linear equation as well and coming to the sixth and the last example this equation is not linear because in a linear equation ux into uy this is not allowed the terms of ux and uy cannot be multiplied with allowed the terms of ux and uy cannot be multiplied with each other also this is not semi linear this is not quasi linear because this term is creating a problem and it is uh, uh, be because of this term the equation fails to be linear semi linear and quasi linear it is none of the three and this is a pure non linear partial differential equation which doesn't fall in any of the three categories of linear semi linear and quasi linear equation so this equation is a pure non-linear equation.